While it doesn't seem like Halo Infinite is the only Halo related thing having some development issues, as the Halo TV show finally has some new information guys, and it sounds rather interesting to say the least, bringing in the production company behind Star Trek. So let's jump right into this information guys. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps it out get into that algorithm of YouTube so more people get a chance to see it and say to know with everything going on with Halo. Now it has been some time since the last time we talked about the Halo TV show. It's still in progress right now, though I'm assuming the reason why news on it has kind of died out a lot is because of the recent situation within the world. If you guys remember, they originally were filming the series in Budapest, and then the whole pandemic situation happened, and which halted the production of everything, which is a big bummer, guys, because even then, we knew like back in the beginning of last year that the series was gonna be delayed until 2021. And so then you have this massive hit with the production quality hitting as well. You can imagine some uh, craziness happen. So recently it was reported that one of the producers of some of the recent content for Star Trek, like the recent TV show, and also involved with some of the movies as well, has jumped in to help along with the production of the TV show. So in this recent news report from the Vulcan Reporter, Right here guys it kind of breaks down a lot of interesting information that's going on with the halo tv show and how things might sound a bit iffy so we'll just get through the headline here guys secret hideout will be joining the production of showtime's upcoming series adaptation of the halo game franchise secret hideout is a film and television production company founded in 2014 by alex kurtzman if you look on rotten tomatoes alex kurtzman you can they've actually rated some of his work and it says highest rated stuff was star trek back in 2009 got 94 percent i would agree star trek was pretty freaking awesome but then also his lowest rated stuff was The Mummy, but again, The Mummy had much more issues than just production itself. Worked on other various films like The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Ender's Game, uh, Star Trek Into Darkness, and Mission Impossible 3. And in 2018, they actually signed a deal with CBS Television Studios to expand the Star Trek franchise in new incarnations. Continuing on here saying that Secret Hideout is currently working on around 10 to 15 different Star Trek projects for Viacom CBS. Well, that's a lot of sci-fi content, so at least you're getting a guy who actually understands sci-fi writing. You know, he's worked on comic books, movies as well, and some other various things in action films. So I think this guy generally has a decent sense of like how to film these kind of uh, sources of media. Like we're talking about sci-fi, like for, for Halo, which is, you know, there are comic books of it. It's very sci-fi-esque, a lot of high action kind of stuff. I think they kind of sound like they got the right guy here. Interesting thing here, guys. It sounds like this Halo TV show is going to be more of a mini series rather than an actual like full length show. Uh, I'm guessing it's due because of the recent situation in the world. Uh, but they said they mentioned here that they actually the first season consisted of 10 episodes, which was later reduced down to nine episodes and then down to just six episodes, which to me is a shame because that's the great thing about having these TV shows is that you're able to dive more into these different stories that you want to tell within this universe. Imagine trying to tell a story like Game of Thrones within an hour and a half movie. It doesn't exactly come off that well. Tell it in a TV show, you have some time to kind of go into different story arcs. It makes a lot more sense. And that's actually what I was really excited about. I'd much rather have a TV show of Halo than a, TV, than a movie of Halo. So uh, this sounds to be more like a mini series of just six episodes. That's kind of short, to be honest. Now, this last paragraph here does actually have me a little bit concerned of this whole thing. Because basically, I'm just kind of reading out here saying that uh, the current cut of season one is basically just a collection of scenes. Like, that's not good. There is no coherent story. Kurtzman intends to fix this, though, with rewrites, reshoots, and additional filming during the coronavirus lockdown. Secret Hideout worked on re-editing everything that has been filmed so far. They are planning to film the final episode of the season in Ontario with reshoots following soon after, while having scenes involving extras being filmed in Budapest. And then even in this article, meant, cites another article which kind of goes into more depth about the whole thing, saying that the script that they read was kind of uninspired and uh, Daring changes were made 
to the lore of the Halo franchise. Those daring changes being something that we've mentioned previously on this channel, saying that uh, Miranda Keys is now going to be a scientist rather than a military leader like we've seen in Halo 2 and 3. And it sounds like she's been kind of following in the footsteps of Catherine Halsey, which is her mother. And the fact that Miranda Keys is alive and there are multiple Spartans within this TV show does kind of imply that this might take place before the fall of Reach. Though, again, uh, I do have to state that this show is not lore bound, as in everything that happens in the TV show is just for the TV show. It's not tied to any books or games or anything like that. Uh, so they're going to kind of try out and do their own thing with this, which honestly, in my opinion, is probably the best way to go about making a TV show. I mean, they did this with Game of Thrones as well. And I mean, that was one of the greatest TV shows ever created. That they, they took their own liberties as well for combining characters, removing some characters, rewriting some characters, creating new ones and things like that. Just like have a, a better conducive story for a TV show and an audience that would be watching it. Cause now, I mean, let's be real. Like the main idea of having this TV show is just trying to bring more people in the Halo. I mean, putting this on a showtime as well. It's just trying to get more people, that casual audience to check out Halo who would enjoy some sci-fi content, say something along the lines of like Star Wars and Star Trek to kind of expand onto some more sci-fi military stuff like what Halo has been able to provide for us. So could it be like a build up to the finale being the fall of Reach itself within this TV show? Within six episodes, that's quite the crunch to try to build up that kind of tension. But I mean, hopefully it's something that works out well. A lot of times the first season of a series as well is shorter than the rest of its follow-up seasons. Now the Halo TV show has not been signed on for an additional season yet. I'm sure they're probably waiting to see the performance of the first season and knowing this information about how there's coherent story, it's rather a mess. Uh, it seems like the show is more of a collection of random scenes rather than an actual coherent story does certainly concern me and also dropping 40% of the original episodes of 10 down to 6. It's just, there's a lot of stuff going on. And I do want to state that reshoots and re-edits are very common within this type of media. I mean, many major big time movies go through a lot of reshoots. I think most famously was Henry Cavill as Superman, where he was working in a movie where he had to have a mustache for that character. And then they had to do some reshoots for Superman. And they're like, you need to shave that mustache. And then the other production company is like, no, you can't do that. So they actually had to CGI out the mustache in the uh, Superman scenes. So again, like this is a very common thing that's happened with various other films as well. So it's not just like an issue that we've only having with Halo. This is a very common process. I mean, we knew that the series was going to be delayed until 2021 last year before the pandemic hit. And then now the pandemic hit during that situation, which completely halted everything everything when it comes to the production of the series so understandably it's been going through some issues i mean even before the creation of this thing back in what 2013 when they initially announced the halo tv show coming around for us that uh, we were like okay you know five six years later we're like where is this tv show and it's finally coming around and it's so close to the finish line guys we're almost there and just that last bit it's just been a real hassle for the team to try to get this content created for all of us but that's everything i talked about on the channel guys thanks so much for watching i greatly appreciate it let me know if you guys are still excited for the tv show i am i just have its best hopes for it as well and hopefully this production team that's worked on star trek can kind of help bring everything together and get it across the finish line for something us to enjoy so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it check out the videos on the screen if you missed any content from me recently and i'll catch you on the next one peace out